And welcome back to Vlogmas. So today's video is going to be a pretty much a flip on things. And I know it kind of sounds negative. I got this idea from Sam, also known as BK She Devil. She said to watch a movie called The Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey and there's a specific name for what I'm doing. And I ain't gonna lie, I can't remember the name. So I'm sorry, Sam, I just dropped the ball already because I can't remember the name. But I'm gonna be talking about things that I don't really care for when it pertains to Christmas. I have not hit the fact that most of the time I am a Grinch. I am not somebody who really like goes hard for Christmas. This is my first year where I'm decorating, I'm, you know, buying gifts, I am doing vlogmas, all this other stuff. Like this is the first year where I'm trying to get out that funk and really be in the holiday spirit. But there is still some things about Christmas that I do not like. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. It's time to get real, okay? There's one thing we're gonna do in this channel is be real and everything ain't gonna be all holly jolly and Mary and all that other stuff because we we adults here I check my demographics we are mostly adults in here and there's a lot of shit about this goddamn holiday that I ain't feeling so let's get into it right now before we begin you guys already know what to do make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you know about every single time I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started so the first thing is the obvious thing the main thing that none of us like about christmas and it's the amount of god dang money you gotta spend like why like christmas is expensive okay first of all you gotta buy gifts right that's already something right there you gotta buy gifts your light bill because all your christmas lights expensive then like i said before this is my first time decorating for christmas I ain't know it cost that much. I, I Listen, I spent a lot of money on decorating this apartment for Christmas, and I'm a little mad at it, okay? Christmas is a very expensive holiday. I was trying to buy little nutcrackers. I got my nutcrackers right here. They were like $20 each, so that's like $40. But I was looking on Etsy, and them things like $50, $60 for a nutcracker. For someone I'm only going to have up for a month, you out your goddamn mind. You can have that nutcracker. Christmas ain't got to be so expensive. It ain't gotta be so expensive. And the next part about money that's gonna also tie into part two as well is flights. Why? Why? Why when I go to New York, it's typically like $100, but around Christmas time, that thing gonna be three, $400. So you mean to tell me y'all gonna hike up the price because you know people are gonna pay because they wanna go home with their family? That's not even fair. That's not, I'm, I'm upset about this. I'm very mad. The amount of money you have to spend for Christmas makes no sense. And I'm not okay with it. I'm not okay with it. The next thing, like I said, is going to tie into number one is not being able to really be around your family. And that really happens as you get older because my brother has a, a daughter. He has a significant other. My sister has a daughter. Like, you know, everybody tends to spread apart. I have my own life. I have my significant other. So it's just like, what you are known to see for the most part of you know all your family being together little by little that begins to trickle away and it's so sad and it hurts especially when you like people are moving around my dad lives here but my mom lives in florida i live here my sister lives here but my brother lives in new york all my other cousins and everybody else lives in new york but they all have families of their own so they all become spread apart my brother's not even staying in new york it's like a lot so you don't really get to be with your family like that as you get older when everybody else starts to make their own family and that part sucks and then on top of that, if you don't have the finances to go home, if you did move out of state or something like that, like you stuck. I miss that just family vibe, everybody being together. The next thing is really pertains to when I lived in New York. I don't have this problem now that I live in Atlanta, but crowds. First of all, I'm claustrophobic. It's too many goddamn people in here. It's too many people in here. Every store is crowded, every mall, everywhere you go is crowded, supermarket is crowded. Everything is crowded. Just people just be outside. They be outside and I don't like it. And I worked at Macy's, not this last holiday, but five holidays before that, I worked at Macy's Herald Square and that's the world's largest department. And when I tell you there's been times I didn't have to jump over fixtures and things like that to get around because the amount of people, I would literally be stuck in the crowd like this. I cannot stand to be in crowded areas. It triggers my anxiety. I feel like I can't breathe. And when it comes to Christmas, everybody made mama outside and I don't like it. 
and I need everybody to go back inside. Let's go back inside, calm down, okay? Let's calm down. The next, also mainly pertaining to where you might live, and this really more so New York, I don't know so much about here, but Christmas equals cold weather. You think of Christmas, you think of snow. Casey don't like the snow. Casey actually hates the snow. It's cold, it's dirty. I don't understand when people have never seen snow before, why are they fiending to see it? When I tell you it is not like the movies, it ain't all crystal and white, unless no one has stepped in it. And if they have stepped in it, it's muddy and it's dirty and it's probably yellow because somebody done peed in it or a dog done peed in it and sometimes it's dog shit. And then also the ice, you be slipping and falling and your Uggs get wet. It's just not a good time. It's not a good time and snow hurts because don't let it be sunny. When that sun starts bouncing off of that white snow, your eyes is burning, you still gotta wear sunglasses, your nose is running and it can't stop because it's cold. It's just, not <laughs> I know I just went on a tangent, but y'all, I do not like cold weather. I do not like it. I like warm climate. I'm thinking I need to move somewhere hotter, like even hotter than this, because this ain't hot enough for me. I need to be in like Texas or like deep in Florida or something, somewhere where it's hot and I wanna be like in a bikini on Christmas, that's what I want. I would appreciate that a lot more because cold weather is not it. Next, hearing the same damn songs. If I hear Mariah Carey one more fucking time. <laughs> oh my God, that song get on my damn nerves now. And it really just gets on my nerves because I worked retail since I was 17 up until I was 25. I quit my retail job two weeks before my 26th birthday, I'm 27 now. So from 17 to basically almost 26, I've worked retail, and which means I've worked through every holiday season, which I've heard every holiday song over and over and over again. That goddamn Mariah Carey. Sis hits number one on the billboard every year, cause all you hear is that, uh, like, Oh my gosh, it drives me insane. Once in a blue moon, I'm okay with it, like just to feel that Christmas feel, but 64 times in one hour, should be criminal. Lock her up. The next thing would be confusions on gift giving. And when I say confusion on gift giving, you know when you be like, do I gotta buy that person something? Like, they mean something to me, they do, but baby, I got bills to pay still. You just be real confused on who you gotta buy presents for and who you could just be like, that'd be all right. And I really don't like that because I feel like it triggers something in me. Like it triggers my anxiety and then I'd be feeling like a bad person. Like it's a lot, like you be overthinking stuff. Especially like, all right, let's say you just got in a relationship. Then you'd be like, damn, do I buy his mom some? Buy his mom some, I gotta buy his dad some? Like, do I have to do that? Or like, I just really be so confused. I'd be so confused. I'd just be freaking out. <laughs> like. I, it just triggers some type of anxiety in me when it comes to the gift giving part, like who you buy gifts for and all this other stuff. And like, what is my budget for these people? And like, what's realistic? Because I'm not rich. If I was rich, this wouldn't even be a problem, but I'm being real, like I'm not a rich person. So it's like, I gotta spend my money wisely. The and next thing is, I feel like Christmas is too close to the major holidays and it doesn't allow us time to breathe. I feel like it really go Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Like, it's just like you can't even say a word in between it because one minute you buying costumes and then you blink and you're stuffing your face with turkey and then you blink again and you in a Santa Claus outfit. It's just too close together. It needs to be spread out a little bit more. Like you need, I need a moment from all of these major holidays and it's like, Literally seven days after Christmas is New Year's. It's like, come on, come on, wait a minute. <laughs> like we need a little bit longer of a thing because those are two major holidays, you know? And Thanksgiving is literally a month before Christmas, which is another major holiday. It's just not enough time. So I feel like maybe we need to move Thanksgiving. What well, holiday don't really matter to me anyway. January, we got New Year's. February, y'all know I do not fuck with Valentine's Day. So if y'all want to throw Christmas over there or Thanksgiving right there, then March is what, St. Patrick's Day? I'm not Irish, so we can just we can just do some rearranging of the holidays. That'd be great, because we just need to give Christmas at least two months of itself, like two months exclusivity. <laughs> just nothing two months before it, nothing two months after it. We, like, we need a break after such a major holiday. Number eight is going to be the lack of appreciation parents get. And this mainly pertains to like little kids. And as an adult now, I see it. I'm not someone that says we shouldn't tell our kids to believe in Santa. I think Santa's great. Santa's great. He seems fun, very nice man. However, 
I think a lot of times parents just feed the Santa, 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 Santa thing so much into their kids' heads that kids don't be so appreciative of their parents. It's like, I see it firsthand now that I'm adult because I have a lot of mom friends and I also like just know now like the things that my mom did for me when I was little. But let's just say using my friends, for example, I have two best friends that are moms and I see the struggle that they can go through, but they're going to give their kids any and everything that they want. And it'll just be nice if they can have the appreciation for those big things. Santa could be responsible for like the socks or something, like something small. And I also feel like it goes hand in hand with the whole idea of, okay, how do I put this? Let's say I'm an adult and I give my kid a, a MacBook for Christmas and that's a $1,200 computer and it can go up and I say, Santa got it for you, right? And the kid is like six, right? And they go to school and be like, oh my God, Santa got me a MacBook, whatever. But their best friend, Taisha, I don't know why Taisha was the first name that came to my mind, but her family doesn't have it like that. And all Taisha got was a sweater. Taisha gonna feel like Santa don't really fuck with her like that. And I just feel like that's sad, that sucks. So I just feel like I wish more parents would get their appreciation, especially for the larger gifts. And then Santa could be responsible for the smaller gifts, in my opinion. Anyway, when I have the children, that's the way I plan on doing it. When Santa becomes a factor, Mommy and Daddy got you all of your dream stuff and then Santa got you some like slime and shit, like the little the little shit. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like that's the way I want it. Cause you gonna know that mommy and daddy worked really, really hard to get you this bike, get you this tablet, get you the whatever it is, this game system, this what well, by the time I freaking have kids, this PS40. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like uh, parents deserve more appreciation. Number nine is going to be shipping delays. And that's because not only are people worried about their Christmas presents not coming on time, but baby, I just like to shop for myself and I'm very, very, very impatient. So with that being said, where's my shit? Where's my shit? I understand FedEx, UPS, Amazon, um, USPS, all y'all other people, DHL, whoever else got 8 billion packages delivered in one day. But like, I need my stuff. So the fact that it'd be so much shipping delays because they can't like handle all of that, it'd be stressing me out. And I know it's not their fault. I'm not putting the blame on them. It's not their fault. But that just be stressing me out and I don't like it. And on top of it to go hand in hand with the shipping delays is the amount of packages that get stolen. Like this is the time of the year where people just be like this. It's given Friday after next. Like they are ready to steal people's packages because they know people are getting Christmas gifts shipped to them. So like when it comes to like shipping and receiving like packages and stuff like that, it just gets very ghetto around Christmas. And last but not least, we just all be too damn busy during Christmas. <laughs> Depending on what it is that you do for work, you're probably really, 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 really busy. If you are working retail or anything like that, or even if you have an office job, I know a lot of people try to squeeze in so much work before the holiday season. For content creators like myself, we tend to get really busy during the holidays because we're doing Vlogmas on top of all the campaigns that we're doing because that's when brands really, really try to push, you know, as much sales as they possibly can. So they use us influencers. So we get really, really busy. And outside of just work things, you got all types of holiday parties and dinners and just ugh, office parties and all types of stuff. There just be stuff left and right. And I just be like, oh my gosh, this is too much. And especially somebody like me, if you've been watching my weekly vlogs, I like to stay home. I don't like going outside. I don't like having to get dressed. So if I can stay home, I want to stay home. And Christmas just got too much stuff happening for me. Just too much busyness for one person. I'm starting to think I'm getting real antisocial. That's what that's telling me. But yeah, guys, that is going to conclude the top 10 things I don't really care for when it comes to Christmas. I want to know what about Christmas don't you like? Comment down below, let your girl know. I'm very interested. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because your girl's busting out the vlog in this videos, okay? Period. And I deserve all the credit. All the credit because I'm working hard. <laughs> I'm working hard and I'm stressed and I'm tired. But we getting it done, y'all. We getting it done. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.